The Human Study Center is to provide program support and to inspire women of all ages to you know, grow in their professional life, their spiritual life, their social life. And so we work with, with young girls from the time they're in sixth grade into senior citizens like myself. <laughs> Located in the Tenleytown neighborhood, the building that now houses the Yuma Study Center has been in continuous use since it was built in 1928 by the Sisters of Bon Secours, a Roman Catholic religious congregation specializing in nursing. And when they first came, they lived in what was then the St. Anne's Rectory, which was right next door. However, as time went on, at first there was a typhoid em epidemic, and I think just after the First World War there was an influenza epidemic. and they felt they needed more sisters, and of course they were going to outgrow the, the rectory. And an opportunity came to buy this land, which they did, and in the late 1920s built the convent and moved into it. Designed by architect Maurice F. Moore, the building is an example of the late phase of the Italianate style, with walls one foot in width and a roof covered in a variegated green tile. As nursing evolved into a professional medical career, the sisters would sell the property to the French International School in 1966. In 1975, the building was sold to the Heights Foundation and would house the first home of the Oakcrest School for Girls. The Yuma Study Center acquired the title for the building in 2008. We started out with really trying to understand the context and the uh, history of the building. Uh, that's a common theme with Quinn Evans Architects. With that understanding, we like to decide what is valuable, what do you keep first, okay? And then from there, we start to look at how to overlay the owner's program. In this case, they wanted to introduce a whole wing of living quarters onto a school function, a school and chapel function. And so it's a dialogue. The new, the new architecture uh, results from a, a interplay between the existing building and the new space that we need to add. The project tripled the size of the facility, adding 26,000 square feet while still keeping the original convent building intact. There's a beautiful porch immediately to my right, and um, that's a west porch. It was an arcaded porch. Previously, they had expanded this room out into it and taken the porch as part of interior space and really lost the character of the colonnade that faces the courtyard there. So we were able to recapture the original character of the colonnade, which actually brought back the historic character of it, and it forms a very important facade of the uh, four sides that make up the courtyard. The Historical Society was um, invited to come after the building was finished, and everybody was thrilled. Everybody thought, oh my goodness, this is really well done. And I hope, I believe, it met Dorothy's expectations, and it certainly met ours and my personal primary concern was that the old building be restored and it was. <laughs>